All right, I said I wasn't going to make a Fortnite video, but what the hell, I'll just make a Fortnite video. It's been a while since I've... I, I don't cover Fortnite as much anymore. Uh, I mean, this channel, I do mostly TV and movie stuff uh, with a little bit of video games here and there. Um, I used to cover Fortnite a lot. I posted videos on this channel of Fortnite events and stuff that have done like hundreds of thousands of hits, which is significantly more than my typical video does uh, on my little channel here. Uh, today was the Fortnite Big Bang event. It capped off the Fortnite OG season, which was like a truncated, like less than a month long season that brought the old map back, but with the new graphics and new movement mechanics that Fortnite has now. Uh, that was ended up being the most popular season ever for Fortnite. Uh, nostalgia is just such a powerful force. Uh, but... <clears throat> I didn't play much of it. Any, I don't play a lot of Fortnite anymore. I, I'm a much more into Call of Duty now. Play a lot more multiplayer and Warzone over there. For one thing, I just think it's a better game. For another thing, they I think they do much better crossovers. But that's another story for another time. The Big Bang event uh, was fe featured Eminem, Marshall Mathers, uh, Slim Shady. You know, uh, it, it, but it was a lot more than that. So the rocket went up, hit the sky, created a rift. Uh, there was a bunch of rockets that then hit the force field around Loot Lake and it all went into a black hole and it's kind of like repeating what happened in chapter one with the, with the, um, with the black hole, except for instead of like days of downtime with just a, bla a black screen, it quickly, uh, just went on with the event and, uh, we got to see three of the new games coming to Fortnite. So Fortnite is much more than just a battle royale now. It's filled with player-generated content, but also um, is now going to have these new, not just modes, but actually full games within the Fortnite experience. Uh, there's uh, the, So in the live event, we got to, a little peek at each of these. We got the Lego Fortnite, the... Um, the racing game that's uh, the uh, the it's uh, the rocket racing. Sorry, uh, there's Rocket League. It's it's developed by uh, the developers of Rocket League, um, Psionic or yeah, Psionics. Uh, and then Fortnite Festival is a new music rhythm mode or game mini game. Not really mini. It's a full fledged game within Fortnite. I don't know how exactly to describe it, but it is developed by Harmonix, which does the Rock Band games, and so. In the event, everyone transforms into Lego characters and they fly around and they see kind of what this new Lego Fortnite crafting survival game is going to be like. So it's a really, it's kind of a match made in heaven, right? Fortnite's already about building stuff. Legos is about building stuff. Lego has a strong presence in video games, but it just really makes sense to have it matched with Fortnite. I think it looks really cool, actually. They show like a dragon and they show... Uh, um, like dragon attacking a castle and you know a bunch of little lego characters building stuff and it, it basically is just like an adventure game within fortnite that you can play with your friends uh it looks really cool then they fly off in the in the event you fly off and you get in some race cars uh for the uh, rocket racing which is just exactly that it's a race a new racing game with big huge tracks and you can race against friends and and foes and um that'll be cool to see how that turns out i was never really into rocket league I, I know it, for a while that was huge and super popular, and it just, I mean, you know, they even got like modes and like rip off mode in Call of Duty at one point, but um, I don't know, not for me. But the racing, I like racing games, and that looks pretty cool. Uh, and then the Fortnite Festival, this is the section of the live event where Eminem did a couple songs, uh, and it was pretty cool, I guess. Kind of funny uh, to have Eminem in there, but uh, you know, we live in strange times. <laughs> Uh, at this point, you saw kind of how the rhythm stuff would work. It kind of felt like Rock Band or Guitar Hero or something like that, where you pre you know you have to press the buttons. It's like a rhythm quick time event deal. Uh, but apparently, this Fortnite festival will be able to play music with friends, like have a band, do the whole thing. So it's just basically bringing Rock Band into Fortnite. So now we have Lego in Fortnite. We have a racing like a Rocket League, not Rocket League like soccer, but Rocket Racing in Fortnite, and now you know full-fledged like music maker in Fortnite. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Then everything blew up and they everyone went out into space and, and now we're waiting for the next season to start. So chapter five, season one, uh, it's dubbed Underground. Um, there's a trailer for it. It looks pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. This game has changed so much. I kind of miss, you know, even with Fortnite OG, 
in the, in the old map and stuff and old guns, you know, there's so much, you know, you're sliding and double sprinting and mantling, climbing. You're just, you're just moving. It's like Apex Legends or something. You know, you're just, you're moving so fast. You're, it's very, very different than it was when I used to play it more frequently. And it just, even though like it, I can see how it's improved and the graphics are nicer and just, you know, there's so much bloom and color and it's, even though all of it's better, I don't like it as much. I don't know if I just burned out or if I just miss, you know, if it's kind of like how people who played World of Warcraft for years and years and years wanted that WoW classic feel back, even though Blizzard had made all these, you know, improve changes, improve theoretically improvements to the, to the game over the years. People wanted to play the way it used to be. And that's how I feel like I would like a Fortnite OG for real. Like, get rid of all the new movement stuff. Give me the older looking graphics. Let me just play the game the way I used to play it. I wasn't ever that good even at it. But I, I you know, I just, I enjoyed it. And I think as it's changed, and I, I guess I appreciate Epic, like, tending to their game. But as it's changed, I've liked it less and less. And um, it's just, so I don't know, it's interesting. Uh, I also feel like Epic has kind of, I don't want to say dropped the ball. They used to do so many interesting things. The challenges used to be better. They, there used to be kind of a sense of community around the challenges. Like the challenges would drop and there'd be some sort of treasure hunt. You'd have to find like the giant pianos or like, it wasn't all just spelled out for you. And it wasn't, so, the challenges were more interesting. And every, you know, when those challenges reset at the beginning of each, or, in, you know, usually it's Thursday, you just see like everybody flooding onto the map to try to find stuff, and it was really fun. And then also like the col the the collaborations, like the first Thanos event or like the first Star Wars events, they used to do cool collaborations like that. And now it just feels like they just get skins in the item shop, and that's it. Whereas over in Warzone, you've ha you had the the boys event with all the superpowers, which was pretty damn cool. Although it got old, uh, you had the the whole Halloween event before the uh, before the end of Modern Warfare Two. Uh, with the zombies and with like Vondel getting, you know, the sort of totally overhauled, and it was just kind of like they 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 keep doing interesting stuff over there, not just selling skins, but like actually doing meaningful collaborations. Whereas in Fortnite, I just feel like that hasn't happened in a long time, and it's all there's like some weak challenges and some skins in the shop, and um, I don't know. I just I guess I've maybe I just burned out, but. I'm going to dip into the new chapter and I'll check it out and see what it's like. Of course, I, I, I still hop in every little bit every season and um, I want to see what the new map's like. It looks cool. There's like a train, uh, some cool interiors with like stained glass windows and stuff. Uh, and there's, there's almost like a spy vibe to this season just that I'm getting from the trailer. And chapter two, season two is the spy versus spy season. And that's still one of my very, very favorites. That was the one that also had Deadpool in it. I think that was the one with Deadpool, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, and that was just a fun season. And I don't think it, it's ever been as good as that since, even even though they did do some cool stuff with Marvel and whatnot. So anyways, that's enough Fortnite for me. Uh, servers go down tonight, and the new season starts tomorrow, Sunday. So if you're a Fortnite player, I don't know. Let me know what you think of all this. And uh, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And peace and love. Bye-bye.